hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how you guys and girls doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box for all the nice links also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content so this is the first video in our sfml c++ simple games uh series and basically like i said in the introduction video is we're just going to be making some simple games nothing too complicated and i thought we'd start off with just trying to include sfml now i really urge you to go check out the sfml tutorials and the c++ tutorials before doing this because i'm not going to teach you all the basics but we're going to start off from scratch so yeah you should you should be good but just go check those out if you can i do have them uh, down below in the uh, description box as playlist you can just go check that out and also you can find the github repository here at this link um, which is also kind of in the description box. You're, you're going to have to navigate here, but at least the link to my GitHub is in there. And then I'll be uh, adding stuff here. I'm not going to be adding the solution file, the Visual Studio file, only the source code. So you're going to have to make your own project and then import all of these things from here. So you can just go and check the code out here if you want. Now we're going to be downloading SFML. So I already have this stuff, but for your sake, I'm going to do this again. So you're just going to go ahead and do this. Now, I assume you're using Visual Studio. You can get it for, for free, the Community Edition, from their page. You can get it from there. Uh, you're going to be able to use up to Visual Studio 2017. It should work on the newer ones as well. But up to that, you should be able to. You should be good. Um... So you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the 32-bit version. Now, this is not for which. I'm just going to put it right in my folder. doesn't really matter where you put it. Uh, this this just means that you're going to be coding 32-bit games. All right. You can do you do 64 if you want. doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'll just be doing 32 just because, you know, for the tutorial, every my, everybody might not be able to run 64-bit stuff. So I'm just going to show this in folder. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go in here. Okay. Now there are a few things that are important. So I'm going to make a new folder here called. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. Okay. So a new folder called um, external. I'm going to just call it external. You can do whatever you want. But you just go in here. And the important thing in here is to create two folders. One called include and one called lib okay include and lib once that's done you're gonna go back to your sfml rar thingy and you're just gonna go into the lib folder all right just this lib folder and you're gonna grab everything just about everything all of that and just put that in the lib folder okay once that's done once that's done, you're good for the lib. Now go into the include. Don't open this up. Just keep it just the way it is. And then just SFML and just copy that. Put it in include. Okay. Once you do that, you need to go into your bin and grab all of these DLLs and just copy those. Okay. Just copy those and just put them right there. Okay, just for now, just put them right there. Now, we're going to be including and doing stuff all over the place. But once you got that done, you can just go ahead and close this. Go back to your project. Grab these. Okay, now, I just want to say, if you do have a project, if you have it uh, set up already, hopefully you do. I'm just going to remove that. Then go into your file wherever you have your source code all right like your cpp and it header files and everything and just paste all of these dlls in here okay once that's done what you want to do is you want to copy this external folder and put it where your sln file is but basically your project folder is wherever that is you want to just copy that in okay and actually you want to control x that so once that's done while it's doing its thing, we're going to go into the properties of our uh, project here. And we're going to start checking stuff out. Now, no, I went into the wrong properties. You want to go into the solution properties right here. Okay, you should be seeing this. Now, I'm going to put it onto all configurations. 
and win 32 since I'm going to include it for win 32. If you have 64, what you want to do is you want to do x64, okay? And up here you'll see there's debug and x86. So this is what we're going to be running. All right? If you want to if you want to run your program in 64, you got to change this as uh, as soon as you're trying to build and stuff. So you got to change that if you included your stuff for 64 bit. And if you're running debugger release, you know, you, that's why I put this in all configurations because it's going to work for both. Uh, so there you go. Now, once that's done, you're going to see that you have your external folder here. I'm just going to remove it from here and you can just ignore all that. I'm going to make it small again into details, kind of a list. There we go. So here we go. This is what you're going to be seeing. OK, and you have all your stuff here. You can delete these as well since you already copied those. So once that's done, let's start off here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna do go into C plus C C plus plus general. Okay. Additional include directories. Just edit that. Click this little folder button. You'll see something you'll be able to click here. And just go into your external folder and just click include once. And do that. Okay, then you're gonna get this long thing here. Really, really long type of thing. Um, and let's see, where, where are we? External, here we are. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is a little cool thing, which will let you kind of send this program anywhere to your friends or whatever. Uh, what you want to do is you want to do the dollar sign solution there, right here, right before external in include, okay? And what this does is it automatically finds the solution directory for you, and then from there it will... Yeah, you'll be good. Pretty much you'll be good. So that's what you want to do. And you want to just say OK on that. Apply. And we're going to go into C++. No, we're going to go into linker general. Additional library directory. So we've got to do the same thing here. Just plus this. But I'm just going to paste whatever I had. So I have the include here. I'm just going to do lib. And I'm going to press OK. So once that's done, I'll do apply. Good. Now you have those things done for both your debug and release. Now to explain this in a simple word or a few words, uh, whatever's happening here is that you pretty much just have libraries that someone else made uh, so, so that you can output graphics and stuff. And it's basically like Legos, right? Your, your friend gives you a big pack of Legos that he made and you have your own pack that you made, which is pretty empty right now since we don't have that much in our project. But we have all the standard stuff, right? He has this cool new Lego that he gave us, but it's compatible with ours. So we can use his in our big project and make even cooler stuff. So this is all graphic stuff and sound and everything that we're getting from SFML, the guys who made it. And we're putting in our project. It's compatible with C++ and all our stuff. And it's going to let us output graphics, use our graphics card to pretty much output graphics, basically. <laughs> so that's how that works. So I want to open Linker again and go into Input edit this now instead of this we're actually gonna go into we're gonna go into release here and we're gonna edit this okay so here now we need to add some stuff so sfml sfml make sure you spell this correctly system dot lib okay here we're gonna include everything kind of that we that we did here uh, system what else is there? Graphics. You need to go and look at the tutorial on SFML's page for if you have code blocks and stuff, because the order is very important in code blocks. Here it isn't that important, so you don't have to really care. But the order you do this in code blocks is very important. Uh, so graphics uh, window. We're gonna do audio and network and network the reason oh whoops network now i'm going to copy these make sure you copy these and just say okay apply uh the reason i did release here because debug uses different libraries i'm going to show you where these libraries are and exactly what we're doing so we're going to do d here d after each one of these just a line and a d and just say okay and just apply that um, there we go. So what we're doing is we're going in here in the lib thing and we're finding SFML audio D, uh, lib here, graphics, um, D, it should be here somewhere. 
graph system dlib here you go uh, system window lib and s s is for static stuff so we're not linking this statically it's also good to know this is a called a dynamic link so it's a little bigger since we're copying the dlls and dll stands for dynamic linked library so we're putting them in our project we're saying we want them here so that if we move our project uh or game or something uh, when we compile it it will be able to kind of go anywhere and you don't have to kind of relink stuff if you have statically linked libraries the file size is smaller because you only have one library on your computer but then every project is linked to that folder and then you have to kind of, every time you move your project or game, you're going to have to link to another folder with SFML. I hope that made sense. Uh, but that's kind of how that works, just in some simple words. Now, once that's done, we should be able to see include SFML. Yeah, now we can see SFML. And we're just going to go ahead and include graphics. We're going to include some more stuff. Uh, and system window audio and network. Okay, and we're just going to do that, and once that's done, should be fine. std cout hello from sfml, kind of, not really, but yeah, uh, there you go. And then we're just going to run this, hopefully it's not going to crash. So that let us, yeah, it didn't crash, it just kind of died. Uh, then you just want a system pause here. And I'm going to explain everything as we go. There we go. So it linked libraries and we could include them without any issues. So there you go, guys and girls. That was the first video, just how to set up SFML. I do have several of the same type of videos on my channel. But yeah, I, I do, I do again, urge you to go check out C++ tutorials and SFML tutorials before starting this in my, in my channel. Or in any channel you prefer. doesn't really matter. Just go check them out. Just so you know what you're doing a little bit before. Because I won't be able to explain exactly everything while we're doing stuff here. Even though I'll try. Uh, but there you go, guys and girls. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing great. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one where we'll actually make a game. Alright? Take care. Bye-bye.